Hey y'all, say y'all. Peace and Palestine sticks. It's your girl, Divinely Lika. And this reading is going to be for Cancer. Um, my lovely Cancer. So it's so crazy as I, like, in my mind, like, I'm sitting there, like, trying to determine. I haven't done a Zodiac reading in a while. I've been doing collective and pick a cards. But I'm like, what, like, Zodiac sign do I want to start with? And so I'm just hearing, like, spirits say Cancer, Cancer. But I'm like, let me confirm it. So I go to my deck um, and I pull from my uh, my tarot card that has like you know different signs and stuff on it. And Lord behold, who did we get? We got Cancer. So Cancer, um, Spirit has gotten me to do a love reading for y'all today. So that's what we're gonna get into. Um, I'm gonna start off with pulling from the Lover's Oracle deck, and then I got two new decks that came today. So I'm really excited to use them for y'all. But yeah, let's just get right into it. Let's get right into it. <clears throat> Divine spirit guides, angels, ancestors, universe of the brightest love, light, healing, protection, and prosperity. What is it that the um, cancers need to know at this time in regards to love? What is it that cancers need to know at this time in regards to love? Let me see what's going on with the cancers. Please just protect my space as I get these messages across and block out any interferences. Protect my crown chakra as I get these messages across. Open up my third eye chakra so I can dive deeper into my intuition and get further clarification of the cards that come out today. And open up my third chakra as well, spirit, so I can accurately interpret these messages that need to come out today. I'm just going to have to do it like this. because. <sighs> All right, any evil eye being sent my way, dark magic being performed on me or to the collective, just protect them. Return that back to sender, magnify, and bind it to them. We ain't got time for no hating ass energy, okay? Okay. All right, so let's get into it, see what's going on with the going ons. They, it's up. It was right side up. That was funny. Oh, a couple's right side up. What's going on now? Okay. All right. All right, clear and accurate messages for my cancers. Clear and accurate messages for my cancers. Clear and accurate messages for my cancers. What's coming in love? What's going on in love for my cancers? There we go. <gasps> Stop playing, bro. I said date was right side up. That was weird. And then it came out again. Y'all see all that shuffling I did. So, um, okay. So, date. It says meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. So, look like you're going to be meeting somebody new or whatnot. What else is going on with the cancer? With cancers? Healthy choices. It says making healthy choices in love. And in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. So, okay, Cancers, I think you're just taking it real casual right now. It doesn't look like you're trying to get into anything too serious. Maybe you don't mind going on dates, you know, exchanging energy with people. But it doesn't look like, um, it looks like right now you're making healthier choices for yourself. And that's just spending time with you and loving on yourself. So that's what I'm getting right now. These cards is new, so they just sliding all over the place. They like uh, silk sheets. Silk, silk, uh, silk pillows with some silk sheets. They just sliding off like hockey pucks. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay. Let's see what else is going on with the cancers. What else is going on with cancer spirit? Okay, this one wants to come out. It says abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. So it's looking good. And understand that abundance is not just does not just have to be abundance. Um, as far as hold on, first of all, let me show y'all what's going on because I ain't showed y'all new card yet. We got Zates meeting someone new, getting back out there. We got healthy choices, and then we have abundance. Okay, now even though she's like she got money all up in the air and she's celebrating money, understand that abundance does not just have to mean abundance of like monetary and like in monetary ways as, as far as like uh, something external. It can be abundance of love, abundance of support, abundance of good health, you know, but abundance is definitely flowing in and this is the good thing is like you know right now we're approaching the new year what I consider the real new year which is um 
March 21st, the beginning of spring, the um, astrological lunar new year. That's the new year that I actually go back. So right now, um, this is the time where it's like, it's time to start putting stuff in motion, cleaning our house, things that like uh, certain things that don't serve you anymore, relationships that don't serve you no more, the type of partners that maybe you were going for before. It's time to switch it up and, you know, do something different before this new year comes in. All right. So I have photograph. It says looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. So you got somebody definitely very much so thinking about you heavily excuse my nail because it broke earlier but um thinking about you heavily looks like or maybe this could be you now understand flip and switch the roles as they apply to your situation also understand that my readings are timeless meaning that they can apply to past present or future and i could also be talking about somebody in your energy if i can i can be saying he talking about a she saying she talking about a he so flip and switch the roles as they apply to your situation but um, it does look like I'm feeling like somebody is looking at your photos, just reminiscing, missing you. They might be on your social media heavy. And probably like, you know, feeling some type of way because you're doing so damn good. Too many cards came out at once. You're doing good and you're clearly doing good without them. So, yeah. But I'm going to be honest, like I have some cancer friends and one thing cancers know how to do is get to a <laughs> They know how to get to a bag. They know how to bring their desires into manifestation. And I genuinely, I, I, like, I love having them as friends. Um, absolutely. They're very, very much so inspirational as, um, to have as friends. But anywho, what else for Cancer Spirit? Damn. Okay, I'll just take what flipped over. It says, um, camera, um, reminiscing, keepsake. Perception, learn from the past, make memories. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Somebody is like really missing you right now. I don't know if there's somebody you uh, decided to walk away from, but somebody is missing you heavily right now. Tell me more spirit. Got coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So, yeah, I'm just getting a feeling like cancer. You're just taking it real casual right now. It doesn't look like you're looking for anything too serious. Um, right now, you're focused on your abundance. Abundance is your main priority, but you definitely got some old people missing you. I do see that. Yeah, it just looks like you're just taking it easy. You ain't really worried about nobody right now. Nothing serious. If something comes your way, you ain't going to, like, turn it down, but that's not what you're looking for right now. It says the goal in mirrors, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So maybe you left somebody behind. Um, maybe there was somebody you left behind that was narcissistic or um, just a relationship where it was like you were putting in more than the other person. So you decided to walk away from it. But this person is heavily missing you. And of course, why wouldn't they? Especially if you filling somebody up, you filling somebody else's cup up and they ain't filling yours the fuck up. You know, I can see them missing you too. All right, give me one more spirit. And I think I'm going to pull from a different deck. Any One more for uh, Cancer. Mm -hmm. It says soulmate. Okay, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. So somebody, somebody is coming into your energy. So I got two people in your energy so far. We have... Um, and it's like, you know, this just may happen. Like I said, you're not, it's not that you're not looking for somebody, but if somebody comes into, you know, your energy field, you're not going to turn it, you're not going to turn it away. And you know what? That is actually how you end up meeting your soulmate or that person that's for you. When you stop looking and you just focus on yourself, your business and your abundance, that's when you're going to meet your Mr. Right or your Mrs. Right. Okay. So that looks good. I don't know why some of these cards is upside down. I mean, it's right side up when it ain't supposed to be. But whatever, let's move on to the next deck. Because I'm, like, excited to use my new deck of cards. Like, And then, you know what? We might even just get into, um, I don't know. I just feel like you don't care to know. I got a new deck. Uh, like, I got two new decks. And I kind of wanted to use them. But I'm Spirit is not really moving me to use this particular deck for you. Specifically because what came out. Now, mind you, in this Love Oracle deck, there is a lot of different cards in here. There is Heartbroken. 
there's like there's a lot of different cards that have a lot to do with love and yours is just real um what's the word i'm looking for it's just real mild like it's not given heavy heavy romancy vibe and there's a lot of cards in that deck that indicate that but it just doesn't look like that's your focal point i don't think you're really too worried about a past person um or any person outside of yourself right now like i said if it comes it comes but it just doesn't seem like that is what you're worried about at the moment so i don't think i'm gonna use this deck i, I did get an, another new deck underneath it all love and relationships oracle but spirit's not really nudging me to move that deck for you um to to touch that deck for you today so what i'm going to do is um i do want to pull from at least this one okay can i use one new deck spirit for them that's what i'm feeling like i want to do all right so let's get into it all right spirit gods angels ancestors universe clear and accurate messages for my cancers clear and accurate messages for my cancers um, what is it that their divine spirit guides, angels, and ancestors want them to know at this time? Um, divine spirit guides, angels, ancestors, um, Archangel Michael, please just protect my space, my words, my messages as I, as I, um, my crown chakra as I channel these messages for cancers so they can hear exactly what it is that they need to hear today. Y'all, I'm trying to, um, I'm pros, I'm per, I'm, currently in the process of learning how to be more mindful with my wordplay um you know before and this could be this could, i mean this might be something you need to hear as well before i would just always be like angels ancestors like even some, from my past readings to even my personal readings that i've been doing for quite some time now where i'm just like spirit gods angels ancestors universe and i'm just i'm calling on their assistance to help me channel my messages and then you know um I got to download, you know, I got to download that's kind of telling me to be mindful of my word selection because I have to understand that, yes, I, I did choose a path of love, light, healing, uplifting, and prosperity and abundance. I chose the path of light, but all of our ancestors did not choose that for themselves. Some of them actually chose the dark path. Some of them weren't about love, light, and healing. Some of them did decide, did sign a, a contract with the devil. You know what I'm saying? So we have to be mindful of the energy that we're welcoming into our homes, especially us as light workers. But even if you if you feel like you're somebody that likes to that that looks to or um you know, seeks out the guidance of your ancestors. Be very particular of the ancestors that you're calling on. So watch your wordplay. Make sure you're saying divine, divine, that my divine angels and ancestors that have my greatest and highest intentions at heart. That's who you want to be calling on. So I've been trying to be more mindful of that. My um, readings do not sound the same as they used to before because of that. Um, and I think I kind of slipped up and said just angels and ancestors. So that's why I called on the protection of Archangel Michael to clean up whatever I might have said the wrong way, words or spells. So we got to be very, very mindful of the things that we say. But anyway, um, divine spirit, God's angels, ancestors, cosmic family of the brightest love, light, healing and protection. Please give me clear and accurate messages for cancer. Clear and accurate message for cancers. What is it that they need to know at this time? What is it that their divine spirit guides, angels and ancestors of the brightest love, light, healing, and protection that have their greatest intentions at heart? Um, what do they want them to know at this time? Oh, this is why I love a new deck. You see how that thing, how them things shuffling? Ooh, so smooth. Mm, like butter. <laughs> Y'all really love a new deck. Like, you know, you got to be into this type of work to get it. But when you get it, you get it. Like, this thing is nice. These things is nice. Look at them. They just slide. Anywho. And I just like the black and gold. Like, that's cute. All right. So, let's see what's going on for my cancers. All right. Clear and accurate, clear and accurate messages for cancer. All right. We got something already. It says third party interference with the hell of the hells. Maybe this is why, um, cause we did get that card about self-absorbed narcissists, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Um, maybe this is why you are single at the moment because of a third party interference. Um, okay. What else for, for cancer? 
But maybe it don't have to be about relationship. Like, maybe it can be about something else. Maybe it can be something business related. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what else comes out. Tell me more spirit for cancer. I kind of feel like spirit didn't want me to pull this deck for you. I think I'm just being anxious and pulling a particular deck. I don't think I was supposed to pull this for y'all. Okay, it says ego death. So maybe you're going through an ego death right now. I mean, that makes sense. Healthy, and it's like right up under healthy choices. Healthier choices. So maybe you're going through an ego death right now. You're tapping into the highest version of yourself. And that's typically what self-love is going to bring you. Self-love, spending some time with yourself, really dating on yourself. That is that is what brings you closer to the highest version of yourself. Okay, let's see what else comes, on, comes out here. Tell me more spirit for cancer. Tell me more for cancer spirit. Yeah. That's how you know this wasn't supposed to be the um eternal love. And that's right up under abundance. So yeah. Okay, eternal love. We have to understand love comes from all types of places, rather it be from yourself, your friends, your family members. So it just seems like you're somebody who's surrounded by love at this time. Um, but no, I pulled this deck for myself first, and I thought because they were just so slippery that, like, cars just wanted to, abundance is near, just came out for y'all. I'm just saying, like, and it's right next to the abundance card. Like, y'all are doing amazing right now, your energy. But, no, so many cards were flying out for me that I thought, well, I'm like, is it just because they're super slippery? But, no, because now I'm doing a reading for y'all, and this deck is trying to get a little quiet on me. Maybe not. Okay, it says celebration. Abundance is near celebration. Shit, I mean, Okay. <laughs> Because I ain't seen a bad card yet, is all I'm saying. Is all I'm saying. I, know I ain't seen a negative card yet for my cancers. Like, okay. I think that's why Spirit wanted me to start with y'all. Because it ain't, you know what I'm saying? Start off with something light. The energy is just light and positive. Winter. Okay, so winter may be significant to you. Whether it be this winter or next winter. So winter may be significant. Um... Maybe you, uh, maybe there was a, a project that you brought into, um, that you brought into fruition this winter. Um, something you manifested this winter. Um, and it's something to celebrate about. What else, Spirit? Tell me more. Mm -hmm. It says inner child healing. So maybe in this time, like, you know, this time with, this time with yourself while you're making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier, really just focusing on yourself. You're also healing your inner child. And honestly, self-love is how you really heal a lot of different things within yourself. When you when you finally decide to say, you know what, I'm done searching for somebody. I'm done searching for a partner to share something with. I'm just going to worry about loving on me. That's how you heal your inner. That's how you heal, period, honestly. Okay. Okay, so we got inner child healing. Or maybe this soulmate of yours. Maybe it can be possibly this soulmate of yours. Maybe that's what they're working on at, um, at the current moment. And I mean, and that's what you want to hear. You want to hear that, you, that you're attracting a partner that's actually working on healing those inner child wounds. Because the problem is, um, more times than not, stuck. Okay, so there's the, the word stuck came out. All right, I feel like I'm getting an energy of whoever this soulmate is for you. But anyway, that's what you want to hear. Because one thing um, about those inner child wounds, sometimes you don't even realize that you're actually carrying hurt or inner child wounds until you get into relationships. And honestly, that is kind of what relationships do. Relationships are kind of set up to trigger those those child those inner child wounds and stuff like that so maybe right now your person whoever this soulmate is on the horizon this is what they're focusing on right now okay so we got stuck what else spirit tell me more what is this i don't want to take it because it fell <laughs> face down but i'm going to take it because soulmate came with a soulmate card so thank you spirit that's my um that's my confirmation so yeah whoever your soulmate is right now they're actually working on loving themselves as well they're probably mirroring you in a way um 
that's how I'm going to take this uh, this mirror card, this mirror card, this gold and mirror card that we got earlier. Maybe they're mirroring you right now. Maybe they're not really looking for a particular person at the moment. Like, you know, they're just worried, like focused on their self, focusing on healing certain things within themselves. Y'all, y'all don't, ain't nothing better for you than a man or a woman who has worked on healing their inner child wounds so they can be the best version of themselves for you. <clears throat> Okay, so we got soulmate twice in this spread. The confirmation of the, it, like that, that's coming. So if you've been feeling like, um, oh, stuck. Okay, so I get why we got the stuck card. So if you've been feeling a little stuck, like it just seems like every time you get into a situation, it doesn't like a situation, whether you're dating somebody, it looked like it's gonna go somewhere, and then it's not. Like you, you might have this feeling like your life, your love life is just stuck, like it's at a standstill, like it's not going nowhere. Spirit is telling you to just get out of that energy because your soulmate is on the horizon. Just keep doing what you're doing, focusing on your abundance, focus on loving on yourself, and your soulmate just gonna come out of nowhere. And that's really how it happens, y'all. Okay, okay. What else? What else for my babies? For my cancer babies? What else? Okay, maybe the winter is when you're going to meet this person. Yes, divine masculine. So I ain't going to lie. I, every time I do my readings, I do feel like I'm typically speaking to more of a feminine um to a, a feminine audience than I am a male audience. But this is the um, confirmation that you do your divine masculine, your divine counterpart is coming. And that's what you want to hear. Everybody wants their divine masculine. If you're a divine feminine, you want your divine masculine. Okay. Yes, I mean, and you're doing everything you need to do to be in that divine feminine energy, focusing on your abundance, focusing on your self love, you just chilling, you ain't really worried about much, you just letting your blessings roll in. And that's how it's gonna be, you just gonna be focusing on celebrating, have, you know, enjoying your time with your friends, or whatever else, and then soulmate just going your divine masculine just gonna come out of nowhere like what the hell, girl, this man has swept me up off my feet, came out of nowhere. Like, what the hell of the hells? <laughs> All right, tell me more, Spirit. I ain't going to force nothing. If ain't nothing else trying to come out, I'm definitely not going to force it. What's that? Okay. Okay. And like I said, just be patient. <laughs> Patience came out. Just be patient. Allow allow um Spirit. I feel like divine timing is really at play in your love life right now. So if you've been in this energy of feeling stuck, like stuff just ain't really moving for you, be patient. Keep doing what you're doing and understand that your divine masculine, your soulmate is on the horizon. So that's what I got here for you. My beautiful cancer. And I don't really think I need to do much more from here. Like, do y'all feel like y'all need some more advice or what? Because that was love. Let me see what we got for personal. I'm going to just do something quick quick and sweet, whatever. Or oh, whatever. Yeah, so I'll do that. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that real quick. Let me do that real quick. Y'all, I don't know how to make it short. I don't think I know how to do short readings. Like, even when I can make it short and sweet, Spirit be like, but pull one more dick. <laughs> and here I am pulling one more dick. So we're going to... Um, I love this deck. Um, the African Goddess Rising deck. We're just going to um, use this deck just to get some, you know, a little advice to send you off with. Whatever, whatever. Even though, I mean, stuff looks so amazing for you. Do you need advice? <laughs> Are you having any problems, Cancer? Because I'm not sensing them. I'm not. Other than you feeling maybe stuck, like, like your love life is stuck. But Spirit is confirming Ain't nothing to worry about. Everything that you got and going on right now, just keep focusing on that and your love life. And then your, your partner is going to come in. Your divine masculine, your divine feminine, they're on its way. All right, so divine spirit, guides, angels, and ancestors of the brightest love, light, healing, and protection that have my highest intentions at heart and my greatest intentions at heart. What is it that the cancer, cancers need to know at this time? What is it that their divine spirit, guides, um, want them to know at this time? some um, advice that we can send them off with to close out the reading. Sorry. 
I was not expecting our reading to be so positive. I'm kind of happy that um, Spirit wanted me to start with y'all for a reason. Because it didn't, it didn't take a lot of my energy. Like, I didn't feel... Like, I'm, a, I'm an empath. So, like, not only am I channeling messages, but I feel people... I feel the energy of the messages that I'm channeling very, very heavy. <laughs> like, there's times I can pull cards that are sad, and I can get... And I don't start feeling sad. Like, no lie. Um, so... Spirit wanted me to start with y'all for a reason. I'm so happy that I did because it was positive. And now I feel like I got the energy to do a couple more zodiac signs as well. So, yeah. All right. All right. Messages, um, advice for my cancers to close out their reading. What is it that their divine spirit guides, angels, and ancestors want them to know at this time? Okay, it says Yasigi, live out loud. I've actually never seen this card before. Never read it, never seen it. So let's get into it. Live out loud. And like, when I sit here and think about like, one of my friends are cancers and she's so loud. <laughs> she lives her life out loud. And I, lo I just love her. I love her soul. I really do. So this really makes me, um, this just makes me think about her, but whatever. Let's see, Yasigi. All right, so it says goddess of living out loud. She's from Mali. Um, her temple is Gritos, her element is water. So it kind of gives you the backstory on the African goddess and then the advice from the goddess to you. Um, so she has the reputation of being a free spirited party goddess. That's my girl, man. For the dog and people of Mali, she was the first Yasigan? Yashigan? Um, the Yasigans are women empowered to participate in mass dances and yeah that's basically what's going on in this car i don't know if y'all can see my um candles kind of blocking it out but like she got her little stuff dancing there's a bunch of women dancing so yeah that's what's going on but anyway um her guidance to you it says express yourself you have something to say share your voice and magic express your unis the way you express yourself won't make everyone happy and that's okay you're not meant to Living, living out loud and self-expression look different for everyone. For outgoing extroverts, self-expression may mean dancing on tables and screaming your points of view. And for introverts, it may speak out in other ways and save the louder parts of their personalities for loved ones. Goddess declarations, I am free to express myself fully. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this has been a beautiful message for my cancers. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for tapping in. And I appreciate y'all.